everybody back for a kind of review um i'm guessing a lot of you figured that the next thing that i'd be reviewing would be the first issue of the ongoing series and i would totally review it if i had it um i know i'm a really bad fan but i haven't gotten a chance to go to the comic book store since my last run a couple weeks ago and i just really haven't had a chance um so i don't have it yet not to mention, I get out of school in like two weeks now, so that means every single project is due, you know, in a week or so. So I have like a million things that I have to do and I just haven't had time to read anything and I haven't had time to go to the store. So I don't have Transformers ongoing one to review and I'm really sad because I wanna read it. I just don't have it yet. So I'm sorry that I haven't done that review yet. I will most likely do that review once I get home. So that'll be in like two weeks. Um, but I don't want to leave you guys hanging for that long again because I said I was going to try to be more, you know, actually doing reviews. Um, so what I've decided to do is I've gotten some little Transformers trinkets types of things and toys. So I thought, hey, I'll just do a really mini review on what I've gotten in the past couple of weeks. Uh, the first thing makes me really happy. I went to my local toy store for the first time that wasn't like a Toys R Us, um, the one in the mall, and it it was great. It was a great store. Um, and they had these. And these guys make me super duper happy. These are the, I think they're called like authentic vintage replicas or something like that, but I'm sure you guys have all seen these and know what these are. Um, they're basically G1 Rumble and Ravage just new. I don't know, but they're awesome and I love them. And this is actually the first Ravage and the first Rumble that I've ever gotten, I believe. Yes. Um, and they're just awesome. They make me really happy. Um, they're also the first G1-esque toys that I've had. They're, I'll just say that they're G1 toys. Um, and I guess to review them, I like them. They're really cool. It's like I can't get past the fact that I actually have G1 looking toys now. I guess the only thing I can really complain about is that Rumble's guns on the back are really hard to get in and out. They're just kind of tight, but that's also okay because when they're in there, you want them to stay in. Um, he transforms. Don't forget that I don't know how to do toy reviews. Um, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Uh, nope. That's not. Arms go up and his head down. Maybe? Is that how it works? So yeah, and there's him in his cassette mode, um, which actually fits together pretty well. Sticker application is fine. I really like this. This makes me really, really happy. Um, and the same thing with Ravage, um, whose guns are easier to get out. I say that and then I can't get out. There we go. And then of course, Ravage, who is, I, I believe, slightly easier to transform, but yeah, these are awesome. I have played with these so much and I just got them a couple weeks ago. I really like these. I really like them. They make me really happy. Um, I know that's not really a good review. Besides that, I got a package a couple weeks ago from a friend of mine's mom who happened to see these toys at a store and was like, wow, that's a lot of Transformers. I'll send that to Sam. Um, and what I got was this collection of like 10 mini cons and it is an interesting set. I will say that much. Um, these things are weird. I have never, um, had transformers that were this size and they're just odd in robot mode. I mean, they look fine. Most of them look fine in alternate mode. I'd say vehicle mode, but some of them are like dinosaurs and cats and crazy stuff um but then you put them in robot mode and they just look weird i mean i i understand because they're so small but they just look so funny like this guy his legs are backwards like if i look at this that's the way his legs are going and that's the way his head's going and it's not i know that some transformers like spin around no it doesn't do that i guess i'll kind of just do them in groups 
Um, so since I'm holding this dinosaur one, we'll do this dinosaur group first. Um, I gotta pick up the box to know what their names are. Speaking of which, they were freaking impossible to get out of this box. I wish that I had done like an unboxing video because it would have been like two hours long. It so let's see, this guy is Stockade and he is an Autobot and his legs are on backwards. And he turns into a Triceratops. And I think I know how to do uh. Yep, so there he is. And then there's this guy who has really loose joints. Let's see if I can, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty loose. And he's Ransack and he is an Autobot as well. Um, and that's one thing about this set that I think is really odd. The, like, types of vehicles and animals and everything that the Decepticons and Autobots are seems backwards. Oh, I got it. Yeah, so there he is. Yeah, like, this guy is like a meat-eating dinosaur, carnivorous, and makes me think of a Decepticon when actually he is, in fact, an Autobot. And then we have this, like big like plane I don't know what these things are called but anyway this guy looks like he'd be a Decepticon as well and he's an Autobot and then we have an eagle which to me would be like the epitome of an Autobot he's a Decepticon and I don't know how to transform this one um and this guy looks like he'd be an Autobot and he's a Decepticon the leg goes up like that I'll let you think what you will about that and I'm just too lazy to transform and go through all these, but overall, it's just a weird bunch. Um, I, though I will give an extra special mention to this one, who is Overcharge, who is untransformable. I have tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to transform him, and all that happens is his doors fall off, and that's about it. I have not gotten anywhere else unless I just figured it out right now. Oh, his door just came off. It's like freaking jet fire and jets from all over again, except for there is no like happy ending because he doesn't do anything. No, this one just doesn't transform because it's dumb and I can't get it to work. So this one is extra special and makes me extra mad. Um, so yeah, the let's see what exactly what it's called. The Armada series 10 pack of mini cons is really strange and I wouldn't really suggest picking it up. It's a fun little thing for me to have on my desk and I'm actually thinking I'd be giving these things out like to my friends like as like a joke or something I don't know so yeah there you go Paul I did a toy review for you so yeah there's a kind of sort of review more just me BSing a vid type of thing um, also you probably will notice that my location has changed just a bit I've actually just turned my computer because my roommate was wondering why all of her stuff was in the background of all my videos. I don't think she was really pleased with that. So I decided to move just a wee bit. Now you can see my calendar now and it's Scrapper. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna change it now, but last month was Sunstreaker and I was so happy, but none of you guys got to see it, I'm sorry. Um, and I don't really know if I have anything else to show you guys. Um, not really. So I will see you all next time that I do a review. I don't know. I'm going to try to find something else to talk about um, for next week or the week after before I go home and can actually review Transformers Ongoing 1 um, and Wreckers probably by that point as well. So thanks for sitting through this like really weird, bad review of some weird toys and some awesome toys. And yeah, thanks. Thanks to all my new subscribers. You guys are cool. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.